And good evening. Welcome to the Tuesday, May 8th, 2018, Southwood School Committee meeting, 7 p.m. Could we all rise? Uh, excuse me, before that, could we have a roll call, please, Max? Mr. Bishop? Present. Ms. Duval? Present. Mr. Lazo? Dr. Page? Ms. Peliquin? Present. Mr. Ryan? Present. Mr. Thomo? Present. Five present. Thank you. Could we all rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with Thank you. Before we move into public input, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Villar. I think we have a, a little bit of uh, enjoying and fun coming our way tonight. Thank you very much. Um, I had the privilege and pleasure of attending one of the FAME performances and we were looking for a way to highlight and showcase some of the great talent that we have in our district. Um, so I reached out uh, and, and we asked Ms. Sass and her group to come here this evening. So I'm going to ask Ms. Sass if you could, when you get the chance to get the mic, to introduce the students that are here this evening. Um, and we're privileged to listen to, I think, two numbers from the show that I uh, just want to tell the students here in public. Uh, incredibly impressive. Thank you. It was a great night out for me and my wife. We got to leave the six kids alone and uh, enjoyed ourselves. And so thank you, and I hope the rest of the audience uh, gets to enjoy it as well. So at this point, Ms. Sass, if you could uh, bring your group up. I think we're going to move along the side so that we can see you. Um, and uh, everyone enjoy. Thank you. So the first piece that we'll be performing for you is a um, segment from the opening number, Hard Work.
Our final piece for you will be um, a song near and dear to my heart as an educator. Uh, these are my children.
Well, I think I can speak for everyone up here. Probably the best 10 minutes of my day, and we've all had days, and I, I think everybody here probably agree. That was fabulous. I truly enjoyed that. I wish you the best of luck. We have an awful lot of things about what's going on in our schools. This is part of some of the good things that are going on, and I'm hopefully and confident there are more good things going on than not. I thank those students, and I look forward to future productions that you put on for us. Thank you very much. At this time, we're going to move to agenda item number three, public input. If there's anyone from the audience that would like to come and address the school committee, please feel free to come to the podium, give us your name and your street address, and we'd love to hear your comments or concerns. Anyone from the public would like to address the school committee this evening? Seeing none, we will move on to item agenda number four, approval of the minutes for the April 10th, 2018, minute, uh, 2018 meeting. Are there any comments, additions, deletions? Anybody would like to make this time? Okay, we don't vote on those, so we will move on to Chairman's announcements. Once again, I'd like to thank the performers tonight. Uh, did a wonderful job, and it's a pleasure to have them here with us. Hopefully, I spoke to Dr. Villar earlier last month. Uh, we'd like to uh, be able to showcase students on a monthly basis so that people in town will know exactly the many good things that are going on in our district. So we, we're looking forward to future uh, performances, productions, and uh, interaction with the students in our district. I also want to take a moment to thank Dr. Villar and compliment the uh, newsletter that was sent out. I had a chance to look at it uh, last week. It's, uh, it, it's a statement of, again, some of the many good things going on. And I can tell you right now, I've, I've, met, I've known Dr. Villar for probably, I don't know, a month, six weeks. Uh, it's no nonsense. He's not going to put something in writing that's not a fact. I'm very confident with that and that uh, I'm looking forward to many years of his participation with our students in our school district moving us forward. Finally, I, I just want to mention the graduation is coming up on the 1st of June. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to attend as the chairperson as a, a high school principal in the neighboring district and my graduation is at the very same time. I think, I think it's Southbridge is 5.30, Northbridge is 6 o'clock. So unfortunately, I will not be able to be with you. I will ask uh, Dr. Page uh, if he could be there in my stead. Thank you, and uh, at that time, that's all I have, so we can move on to new business. Uh, high school rep is not with us this evening, uh, her last meeting. We're gonna miss her, she did a great job, and I think uh, Dr. Vlad maybe has uh, something to present in her uh, absence this evening, but we'll make sure that she gets to it. If Dr. Uh, uh, Jeff, if you could just uh, let the people know. Sure, uh, we have a letter and I'll read the letter um, and then I will also speak to the many contributions that uh, Francis Garcia has made uh, not only to this body but to the high school uh, community. It is our honor to thank you for serving the Southbridge High School representative to the Southbridge School Committee for the 2017-2018 school year. Committee members appreciated your carefully prepared monthly reports and the candid insights that you shared. While it is difficult to hear of struggles faced by Southbridge High School students, your honesty in expressing them is commendable. It is evident you feel strongly about continuing efforts to improve the public schools in Southbridge. You and your family should be proud of your academic record and the honors you have received thus far, and we are certain you will earn many more in your future. We wish you success as you begin your nursing studies at uh, Anna Maria College this fall. As you plan for your future, Please keep in mind that Southbridge needs exceptional young adults like you to return to the community and find meaningful ways to contribute. All the best to you upon your graduation from Southbridge High School. Um, I must say, in the short time that I've known Frances Garcia, she's a special student. Um, it's important for all of us to know that she had a GPA of 4.26, uh, ranked third in her class, and works 20 hours a week at Cracker Barrel while doing that. Um, extracurricular activities included class council, uh, Interact Rotary Club, ASPIRA, National Honor Society, the YNCA Leaders Club, the Prom Committee. Uh, she's been an honor roll all four years, Bosch and Lom Honorary Science Award, Hispanic Achieving Academic Excellence Award. Um, it's, it's easy to say in a short period of time this young lady has done incredible things. We do have a, a certificate for her that we'll be sure that we get to her at the school. 
Um, and I just, again want to uh, say uh, thank you to Frances. I had a chance to meet her parents last week, and they are also very uh, special individuals, and I thank them for their contributions as well. So um, I'm sure the board uh, committee would join me in thanking her for her great work. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Francis. Moving on to 6B, receive his announcements. Uh, thank you again. Uh, a couple really good points that I'd like to bring that Southbridge has uh, recently received two grants. One's a sizable amount, $100,000, to help us with summer programming this year, uh, specifically for elementary grades and transition uh, and easing the transition for students from new grades. Um, we're planning what we'll call a summer learning lab, uh, emphasizing literacy, social emotional skill building, and cultural competency. We're also proud that we've received a grant that will help us in our school nutrition program, uh, providing us uh, equipment uh, to help expand the coolers and systems in the kitchen. So you'll see some, some minor construction around those and that's all grant funded. So we're very pleased to have received that support. Our dual language program offered this year for kindergarten and first grade students is now expanding into grade two at Charlton Street School for next year. Uh, our intent is to expand this program year upon year as we develop capacity and enroll students. Um, we're only one of 10 districts across the Commonwealth to offer this type of program, and our plan is to have students graduate our schools bilingual and biliterate. Um, and uh, some of the com communities that have these programs would be Worcester, Boston, Brockton, so we're talking much larger communities. Um, so we're very proud of this program as it develops. Couple housekeeping items. The last day of school is Friday, June 22nd. Um, we will send home uh, your information of the new calendar to all our families for next year. And as you heard, our graduation is June 1st at 5.30 at McMahon Field. Um, in event of rain, the ceremony will take place at the Middle High School Gymnasium. Let's hope we don't have rain. Um, Senior Awards Night is Wednesday, May 30th at 6 p.m. at the Middle High School in the auditorium. Uh, invitations will be sent out to members of the school committee and to members of our town council as well. Uh, so I look forward to seeing folks there. Uh, that's a summary, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Villar. Moving on to item 6C, uh, update on the 2018-2019 budget. Um, I Thank you. I, I want to start my remarks by thanking members of the school committee uh, for advocating on the behalf of the school budget um, and for um, uh, attending the uh, joint committee meeting that we had with the town council not too long ago in support of our efforts. Um, Ms. Ryan, thank you. I know we had a, a meeting prior to that uh, where we discussed the budget in some detail and I appreciated the support. And um, again, as a chairman also, Mr. Bishop attended and uh, gave verbal support to our efforts, so I appreciate that. Um, I do have an update I think is uh, somewhat important uh, for the community to know and, and that we shared with the town councils that on April 19th, uh, we were um, provided with the first payment of relief funds for students who are attending our schools after Hurricane Maria from Puerto Rico. Um, so we received approximately $210,000 of support. And as a result of that and, and uh, moving forward in our projections for next year, our budget shortfall is now approximately $450,000 as we anticipate the ability to use funding from Hurricane Maria to offset costs for next year. Um, we continue to work on uh, potential solutions to that budget gap and are certainly um, hopeful that we can find ways of getting additional revenue to support us for that. Um, with that said, there is also um, some potential good news for the community. Uh, as we take a look, the House approved in the 2019 budget recently uh, a potential increase in their proposed budget of about $64,000 above the governor's budget. So if this comes to fruition, uh, Southbridge will receive an additional $64,000, $65,000 in Chapter 70 money, potentially uh, could offset some of our cost. Um, so uh, remain hopeful that's another avenue as the community grapples with the difficult work. Uh, the town council members are struggling, no doubt, uh, trying to find a way to supply uh, support for all the many activities that the town is responsible for and, and we're a part of. Uh, so that's news that I wanted to share with folks as well. Um, finally, last meeting, um, I was asked about transportation. Uh, is there a potential way for savings around transportation as we look at 
uh, how we provide uh, multiple runs for the high school and middle school, because currently they are transported on separate runs. So if we, we're investigating that, and there is a potential of eliminating one bus. However, that's offset by the need then to either shorten the school day by 15 minutes at the middle school, or find a way to offset that difference between the two schedules. And um, I can tell you as a former building principal, having 500 kids with nothing to do for 15 minutes actually is not a good scenario. So we're looking at that very carefully, um, and we'll try to figure that out. So we're gonna balance that. but. Um, very good line of inquiry, and I wanted to thank you for that question because um, we are looking at a potential one run, which could be you know sixty-five, seventy thousand dollars if we can solve some of those problems. Um, I will say our priority is the academic day um, and maintaining integrity as much instructional time as possible. So that would be, um, in my mind, a bad day if I had to reduce instructional time. But it's on the table as we try to close this gap. Mr. Bishop, I'd like to. Uh... Thank the receiver to, uh, who looked into it. He said he was going to look into it, and he did, and I, I appreciate that. As do I. Thank you. Any other comments on the budget? Uh, I've got a, a couple things, uh, Dr. Valar. Uh, $450,000 shortfall translates into how many positions are we looking at uh, re uh, reducing? So we do a combination of uh, reduction of non-faculty related expenditures and then faculty. So at least six would be a, a takeaway. It's six additional on top of the 31. I was going to say, because we've already left 31 go and now we need another six. So we're looking at a reduction of 30, 37 employees. Uh, also, I, I do appreciate anybody who's read the turnaround plan that was presented two years ago notice that it's been in the, one of the, one of the uh, hallmarks of that was extending the school day. So for us to have to look at reducing the school day 15 minutes is certainly nothing that uh, myself or I'm sure the receiver is uh, interested in doing. So we'll have to beat the money tree a little harder, I guess. Anybody else have comments on the budget? Okay, thank you. Uh, moving on to uh, 6D, next meeting will be July 11th. Uh, as uh, noted on our agenda, the town-wide election is the same night that we would traditionally have our uh, June meeting, so we will dispense with the June meeting. Uh, so we'll, the, and that'll be a reorganizational meeting on the 11th. I know that I will be out of state for the month of July, so I will not be attending. Um, Mr. Bishop, um, there was an error in the original agenda. It's actually the 10th, July 10th. Oh, it's July 10th. Yes. So Tuesday is July, July 10th. 10th. I, yes. I really didn't check my... That's you, my apology. I was supposed to give you this paper. So. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, well, so at any rate, we're going to meet again on July 10th, so that, that's all good. Okay, uh, <clears throat> moving on to uh, 7, uh, Member Forum. Anybody have anything they'd like to communicate this evening? Mix Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. I just um, want to communicate a couple things. First off, I, I want to, again, thank the... Um, actors who um, participate in FAME for coming here tonight. It was a really awesome experience sitting in that audience. Um, so I really appreciate, I, one of my favorite things as a school board member doing this for five years now has always been um, seeing student performances. They really make the work we do up here and the work that happens in the school district worth it. it those, those moments make all the difference. Um, I also want to say that yes, I did have a really good meeting with Dr. Villar. Um, we talked about a lot. Um, it was really fruitful. I look forward to continuing to meet with Dr. Villar on a regular basis. And um, I really um, did appreciate working with him um, at the, you know, with the, about the budget and advocating for, you know, um, adequate funding for our schools. Um, it's something I care deeply about. It's why I've attended every single, um, you know, budget subcommittee meeting to help find savings to make sure we could fund our school systems adequately and help now try to find ways to offset uh, these p possibly six additional cuts. So um, I really appreciate working with, and I look forward to working with Dr. Villar further to help make sure these six cuts don't happen. And um, um, because this is the last meeting before the election, make sure you go out to vote. It's really important to participate in your local democracy. There are 10 people running for council um, and two people running for school committee. So please make sure, get to know everybody, watch the debate, um, and do your homework. And, this is going to be a really important election, so go out and vote. What's election day? It is June 12th, Monday, June 12th, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Pardon me? 
Yeah, I wasn't. Is I wasn't Tuesday? happy with that answer either. But oh, Tuesday. I, I, excuse me. <coughs> I got Monday on the brain now. You know, that's so. Tuesday. Perhaps Tuesday we could get some clarification sometime this evening. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else have anything they'd like to add this evening? Ms. Pelican, you look like you're burning to say something, so no, say it. No, I'm, I'm not burning at all, thank you. <laughs> okay. uh, Ms. Mr. Duval, anything you'd like to add? I just want to thank the performers that were here today. They did a good job. Could you use the mic? Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, I just want to thank the performers today. They did a good job. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Mr. Tomo. I'm all set, thank you. Thank you, and I'm all set as well. Uh, everybody have a wonderful end of the school year, and we'll see everybody again in July, and I'll see you in August. Thank you, and uh, I'd like a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? This meeting's adjourned. Thank you.